Hey there folks, welcome back for day 25 of the 30 days of banjo. Today we're doing something a little different, still backup, but some new chord shapes. And not only that, but we're also gonna be talking about a slightly different technique for playing these chord shapes that gives us a different backup sound. So first let's just go over these chord shapes. The first shape we're gonna go over is for a G chord. So it goes as follows. You're gonna put your third finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Then you're gonna put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Then you're gonna put your index finger on the third fret of the second string. Then you're gonna put your little finger on the fifth fret of the first string. Just try playing all those notes. You may need to adjust a little bit so that you're not covering them up like this. So if you keep adjusting them, arch your fingers in just the right way, take a look and make sure that you're not actually blocking anything, and then try it again and see if everything rings. That's G. C is actually the same shape in a different place. We're gonna do this starting on the 10th fret. So count all the way up to the 10th fret and put your ring finger there on the fourth string. Then put your middle finger on the ninth fret of the next string, the third string. Put your index finger on the eighth fret of the second string and your little finger on the 10th fret of the first string. Same thing, different place. That's C. Now, if you can keep this shape Hopefully, you can jump between the two. Go from the fifth fret. That's kind of where I guide these, is to these two fingers. My ring finger and my little finger are both on the same fret, the fifth fret. I kind of think about that as my anchor. G, up to the 10th fret, to C. See if you can try to just It's gonna take a while to get it that comfortable, but if you just keep doing it, it'll get there. Now, the one other shape we're gonna look at for right now is for D, and it's a slightly different shape. Let's do this. Let's start with our G shape and just move it down one fret. Now, this is not our D shape. This is actually just F sharp, but if we make a small change to this, then it'll become D. Let's take our index finger and move it down one string from the second string to the third string. Great. Let's take our middle finger and move it up one string from the st third string to the first string. Now we have in terms of frets, four, two, three, four. That's our D. So the first thing you wanna do in terms of this lesson is just get comfortable with these shapes. Try going between G and D. Try going between G and C. Maybe even between D and C. You can do it in any way you want. You can just strum these. You don't have to play them in any particular way when you're getting used to just playing them. Tomorrow we'll talk about how to use them in the tunes we already know. By the way, the featured banjo player for this lesson is Charlie Cushman. Charlie's an amazing banjo player who's encapsulated the sound of both Earl Scruggs and Don Reno probably better than anyone. He's played with a lot of amazing bands over the years, but now he's playing with a band called the Earls of Leicester, which is emulating the sound of Earl Scruggs and Lester Flat. Flat and Scruggs. So make sure to check out Charlie's playing in the playlist down in the description of this video. And feel free to subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day 26 of the 30 Days of Banjo. 